Hi, I'm Dr. Singhania from Singhania Clinic and I'm going to talk about treatment for bipolar children. This particular talk is going to be focused on the early intervention of children who are suspected of childhood bipolar disorder. 50 to 60 percent of children with of parents with bipolar disorder have these signs. They may have labile moods, they may have episodic elation, episodic irritability, with episodic depression, they may be inattentive and have disruptive behaviors and they may be very anxious. And these presentations may not fit in the DSM-5 criteria of bipolar disorder and so they are called subsyndromal signs of bipolar disorder. Some of these children grow out of it but others suffer from bipolar disorder. And in studies vary from 20% to 40% of these children continue having difficulties as teens and adults. Now studies have shown that environmental stress factors can adversely impact the bipolar disorder. No doubt childhood bipolar disorder has a very strong genetic component but these kids who are genetically vulnerable are also affected by adverse environmental factors which could be high levels of criticism or hostility in the parents and amongst the school if there is over emotional over involvement or sexual abuse or parental neglect a uh, lack of maternal warmth has known to adversely affect and create disorder in the vulnerable child when there is severe family conflict this can also cause these children to develop the disorder what happens is in when there is adversity the child unable to develop his prefrontal ability to modulate arousal attention and to develop a coherent self-organization so studies have shown that if these kids are given therapy early in life it can reduce the severity of the disorder in later life so one is by reducing the negative environmental influences and by increasing resilience and coping skills in the children themselves the family is very important in the treatment and they need to understand how they are Parenting styles may be actually escalating the subsyndromal symptoms, how to help reduce family criticism and hostility, and how to help the child cope. So the information is provided to the child and the family. Protective factors are sought and encouraged. That means the child is encouraged to learn to relax himself or herself through music, through spending time with friends through having a, a adequate sleep etc these are all protective increasing positive interactions so the child has to be encouraged to make friends and so give them more play dates etc would help them to have more friends teaching them problem solving skills now these are really important and you know uh, accept relax think and do these are simple steps teaching uh, problem solving to these children parents and children are taught how to identify the stressors which may be affecting them and through effective and open communication these children are taught how to reduce the impact of these situations medication used in the substance syndromal conditions or the children who are at risk of developing bipolar who are showing signs of early bipolar giving treatment whether it's for bipolar, they're less likely to develop the more severe forms of adult bipolar disorder. If the adverse environmental effects are not reduced, then when they grow older, not only are they more rapidly cycling, but they're also more resistant to a pharmacological treatment. So early intervention is the key. If you're seeking help, please visit our website www.singhaniaclinic.com or call us on the number shown below. Thank you for watching.